What you are about to see will change your view of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus forever. For baby elephants and their mothers, circus life is filled with heartache, beatings, and even death. In nature, elephants begin mating at age 18 when they're physically and emotionally ready. The more experienced mothers in the herd comfort and support first-time mothers during their labor and help them care for their newborns. Ringling used Shirley for breeding when at just seven years old she was still a child herself. Shirley did not have the benefit of a herd to look after her as she matured or to guide her through her birthing and rearing her infant calf, Ricardo. Obviously in pain, Shirley is further immobilized by a handler who digs a sharp metal bullhook into her skin. Ricardo drops from Shirley's womb onto the cement floor. With Ringling staff restricting her movement, she can't see what's beneath her and inadvertently kicks her own baby. Instead of allowing mother and calf to bond, Ringling pulls the newborn from her reach. Groaning, Shirley makes several attempts to lean toward Ricardo. She desperately wants to touch and smell her infant, but Ringling staff won't let her. After the third attempt, Shirley is pushed away and hooked on the trunk to prevent her from inspecting her baby. Ricardo was destroyed eight months later after he severely fractured both hind legs when he fell from a circus pedestal during a training exercise. At just four years old, Benjamin should have still been with his mother. Instead, he was on the road performing with the circus. Here are the last images of Benjamin taken moments before he drowned. Elephants are normally excellent swimmers and love to play in ponds, but Ringling had removed <laughs> Benjamin from his mother before she could teach him to swim. At first, Benjamin was playing and didn't want to get out of the water. When elephants disobey circus trainers, punishment is swift and painful. Wake up! Armed with a bull hook, the ringling trainer went into the water to force Benjamin to get out. Terrified, as he was being poked and prodded, Benjamin moved away into God. dangerously deep water. <laughs> Benjamin's curious and energetic childhood was cut tragically short. Oh God. In the wild, female elephants remain with their mothers their entire lives and males for up to 15 years, but not at Ringling. At just under two years of age, Ringling employees tied babies Doc and Angelica with ropes to separate them from their mothers. Doc and Angelica were understandably frightened as they were isolated from the comfort and protection of their mothers. As they struggled, the ropes cut through the tender flesh of their legs. Shown here a month later, the wounds were still visible when the inspectors with the USDA paid Ringling a routine visit. They discovered large, painful lesions on the baby's legs and warned Ringling that they had caused trauma, stress, and physical harm. This undoubtedly left emotional scars that will last a lifetime. The painful rope burns that Ringling inflicted on Angelica were only the beginning of her problems. Now seven years old, Angelica is living a sad life on the road, performing with the circus. This video, taken in California, shows her shackled and being beaten by a ringling handler. Trainers routinely use bull hooks to hit elephants and embed the pointed hook into their sensitive skin. These cruel training methods are standard practice with every circus that uses elephants. 
While Angelica is restrained, the handler hits her with a bullhook, then jabs her twice, then a moment later hits her again. An elephant expert at the Oakland Zoo describes the video as clear abuse in what appears to be a random act of violence. Incredibly, Ringling's veterinary technician watched the same footage and stated that she saw no evidence of abuse. A three-year-old baby elephant named Kenny died after he was forced to perform in three shows, even though he wasn't eating, was bleeding from his rectum, and had trouble walking. Ringling paid $20,000 to settle federal charges of failing to provide veterinary care to a dying baby elephant. You can help stop Ringling from harming or killing any more baby elephants. Please, always stay away from circuses that use animal acts. Tell others what you've seen and contact PETA if you want to help stop cruelty to animals.